is a short video from ACCU showing us performing an IMO off on an EDC 15 PECU. This one is particularly found on a VW Passat 1.9 TDI PD130 engine. Um, well, the first step is to remove the four skewed screws on the back, which have already been done on this, but here are the locations and those four positions. Uh, the next step is to prise apart between this black seal and the back plate from the rest of the ECU so that we can expose the PCB of the ECU. Now, it can be a little bit tough because this uh, sealant's quite sticky. Now we've exposed the back of the ECU um, but what we're actually interested in is on the other side of this so we just lift this up as well. This can be a little bit sticky and a little bit difficult to remove but it will become as simple as that. Now, what we're actually interested in here is the 24CO4 immobiliser chip, uh, which I'm just about to show you now. Uh, if you can see this, uh, the camera attempts to focus. So just this one here, this 8 pin dual inline chip there. Right, what we've done here is isolated the chip from the rest of the board using some aluminium foil. And I'm going to apply some heat with our SMD rework station and a little bit of upward pressure using our prongs just to try and lift the chip off the board. Now it does lift very very easily off the solder pads, uh, just melt either side slightly and uh, make sure it's nice and tidy. And here we go now, it's just about to lift off, Let's see, and there we go. Okay, the next step is to put this into our uh, EEPROM programmer, here's a little closer. Uh, we're actually going to use the GQ4X programmer, as you can see here. Uh, this has got an adapter for our SMD chip, because it's actually smaller than the usual 24CO4 chip. And now we use the software to read the original file from the device. I have already read this, but I'll just do it again for good fun, and uh, save it over the original file. So that's 24CO4test.bin. The next step is to load this into our software. Um, it's actually EDC15 calculator software, uh, which shows us the VIN number, the security pin, and the immobilizer status. Now I have already done this one, but I'll go through the process again, just of loading the file. And as you can see there, top left we've got the VIN number, the login 4 pin digit C key there, 3227, immobilizer status is on, so we'll just click off here, calculate the checksum, make sure it's all correct, save it, and we'll save this one as 24CO4 test. off. And there we have it. So we'll now burn this file back to the chip by opening it here. And now I try and erase the chip, but this actual chip doesn't need erasing, it'll simply overwrite over the original file, as you see here. it right back to the chip in less than two seconds. Very quick. Now here is the chip that's been resoldered back to the board and there we have it, all done.